Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Isaac and today we're going to be talking about three questions to ask to know if you're ready for a relationship. Let's get into it. Now, the first question is, are you ready for marriage? And now you might be thinking, well, Isaac, why did you just throw that question at me? I'm asking if I'm ready to be in a relationship, not marriage, calm down. <laughs> and I'm, and I, I would just respond to that. Okay. I understand what you're talking about. It's a kind of a different question to ask if you're ready for marriage versus if you're ready for a relationship. But I asked that question because I, the answer I think is going to be helpful for us going forward to see if you're ready for a relationship. Let me put it to you this way. If you say, no, I'm not ready for marriage at all. No, I, I would ask, okay, why, why is that? Maybe you're like, maybe financially, I'm not quite set career wise. Maybe I'm still in school. You know, it's going to be a while till I'm actually ready for marriage. And I would just say to that, as we're trying to be wise and trying to be discerning and to see, okay, is it about time that it's okay, you know, appropriate and wise for you to get in a relationship? Let's see, why aren't you ready to be married? Are those good reasons? Or if you get into a relationship, are you going to be postponing marriage quite significantly? And in that case, you know, why are you even getting in a relationship this soon? Because if you're just like, no, marriage is like 10 years off for me. Why are you getting into a relationship? Because for Christians, for people that want to live according to God's standard and live honoring to God, the idea of getting into a relationship for, you know, maybe even five plus years without getting married, that can leave the door open to a lot of temptation. And I just don't think that's super wise. Obviously, it does happen to some people, just life circumstances. It just works out that way. But I'm just thinking for us now as we're being discerning and seeing, are we ready for a relationship? I think that's something important to consider. Are you ready to get married? And if not, why not? And dig into that answer a little bit more because I think there might be a little bit more that you need to dig through as you're thinking about, should I get into a relationship? Okay, on to number two. Number two is a big one and a little bit more serious. Do you have an addiction to something? Doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol. What about pornography? That's a big, big, big issue for guys nowadays and even some girls. And I would just say, if that is an issue for you, if you're struggling with that, if you're losing a lot of those battles, if you feel like you're addicted, it is not time to get into a relationship. Maybe you think somehow in your mind, oh, maybe I should just replace this with, if I get in a relationship, then I'll be happy, then I won't be as lonely, then I won't watch porn, or I won't do turn to these different addictions. That's not the way it works, unfortunately. A lot of people bring in these addictions into relationships and it ends up being really destructive and really it hurts the other person. So I would just encourage you really seriously that if you have these addictions, get them sorted out first. It's not time to get into a relationship that's not going to fill that hole that you feel like you're filling up with those um those addictions and then you'll be able to oh you know what i have somebody that i like and somebody that i can hang out with and that'll just fill that part of me that's not the way it works it's not the way it works so get that sorted out if you have one of those kind of addictions or just things like that it's just not a good time to get into a relationship now counter to that if you don't have any of those kind of addictions that might be a good sign hey look I'm properly um, learning how to live apart from those things that can leave the door open to, yeah, having a relationship that might be a sign that maybe it's okay to have a relationship at this time if you're not struggling with any of those things, right? But that's why we use discernment. I can't speak directly into your life saying, oh, you're ready for this, you're ready for that, you're not ready for this, you're not ready for that because I don't know you. But what I can do is give you different things that you can look at your own life with. If you have these addictions, no, stay away. If you don't, okay, let's keep moving forward and let's keep being discerning and wise in this. On to number three, this is a big question. Are you committed to God even if he doesn't bring you a relationship? I've seen a lot of times where people will come to God and just be really committed to him and just love, yeah, God, I love you. It's awesome. They put on the show. And then when a boyfriend or girlfriend comes around, um, they jump all over it and kind of leave God behind. Now, my question to you is, even if God didn't bring you that person that you would want to spend time with, that person, that boyfriend, that girlfriend right now, even though you really desire that, 
if God was like, no, it's not the right time, would you be okay with that? Would you be okay with just God? And I know there's this idea of I'm dating Jesus or like, uh, th for me, that's pretty, I, it's might be okay with some people. It's kind of dumb for me. Um, I'm not going to ever say that because I just think it's stupid. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, the principle is there. It's the, the, this idea that, yeah, we're committed to God over our relationship. And that's always the case. Even when you're married, it's always God, number one because he's the greatest thing in the universe. You see, it's so important that we become grounded in our own faith before we start looking out for other relationships. Because at the end of the day, if your faith is not solid, if you have not committed yourself to Jesus, if you have not given your life to him, and you're trying to enter a relationship, that's going to be really difficult because it's either the other person that's going to try to you know, help you through that and it's going to become a real burden on them or maybe you're not going to be able to help your um, your partner in the way that you want to help them in their faith because you're weak in that area. And I think it's a really important question to ask is, are we committed to God regardless of what he does, regardless of whether he brings us uh, somebody like a girlfriend or boyfriend right now or if he doesn't? Are we still committed to him? Are we still committed to growing and learning and seeking him? Because that should be number one priority in our lives. And if it is, if it's your number one priority, that might be a good sign that, yeah, maybe you're beginning to, God's moving you towards marriage if this is something that he's placed on your heart. Now, I'd like to hear from you guys. What is another question or another couple questions that you should ask to see if you're ready for a relationship or maybe to ask and then it'll show you that you're definitely not ready for a relationship. Um, there's, a, there's some important questions to ask as we're seeking to get into relationships because it's a big thing in our lives that we're kind of pushing ourselves towards and we're like, can this happen to me? Can I, you know, this is a big step. And yet we should be wise about not jumping into relationships when ourselves, we're not ready for them. Okay. So this is a big question and I'd like to hear from you guys down below. Leave it in the comments down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos like this coming out all the time. Share this video with your friends if you feel like they may need it. <laughs> no judgment, of course. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.